wisp is red. A S M. Hello, welcome. Today at the surgery we shall be running the skin clinic and I believe you were referred to me by your doctor, is that correct? Okay. Good. Let's have a look for you on the system then. confirm your date of birth. Okay, great. The records have been transferred to me but there are a few details uh, missing so let's fill those in now. Okay, and your full address please. few concerns uh, regarding dry skin patches, is that correct? Okay, and could you tell me where they are please? Mm -hmm. Right. And do you know if there's anything on your scalp at all? Okay, I can check that anyway. Any itching? Okay. Right. I'll keep up to date with the notes as we go along. that you can visibly 
see them all or just feel them when you run your fingers across. Okay, I see. All right. So I should look very carefully at those. Then. So let's have a look just down this side. I'll stand up for this. Okay. Just start at the top of your arm. Checking for moles as well whilst I'm at it, just in case. Um, have you noticed any irregularities in any of your beauty spots or moles? Mm -hmm. So we're looking for changing colour, um, irregularity in shape, uh, defined edges or um, jagged edges. Any raised bumps. you find that you have dry hands sometimes? Mm. Well, that's very common anyway, um, especially if you spend a lot of time in water, for instance, if you're cleaning, if you wash your hands a lot. So I can see just a little patch um, below your shoulder. Um, your elbows are a little bit dry, but that's nothing to worry about. It's very, very common. Um, and there's one small.
rest your arm on my hand, okay? There we are. You can see now. Okay. So, just closer. Very nice hands. Yes. That's nothing abnormal there. Overall, you have pretty healthy skin anyway. But I can see why you might have been a little concerned. Just a few. do next is have a thorough scalp check. I shall go through your hair, parting your hair down the sides, around the top and have a look around the back. It won't take me too long so you can just close your eyes and relax if you like. my light here. Okay. As you can see, it isn't very strong. It's very subtle. And I will use um, a tongue depressor here. It's quite a handy tool actually for scalp inspection. Just because it is nice and round on the edge. Separate the hair with this, alright? So close your eyes. 
she writes if you like. Inside. The thing looks really good. really wonderful. I can't see any issues with your scalp at all. I perhaps was expecting to see maybe one or two 
very slight dry patches, but nothing. So, all that we're really dealing with is a few little spots around your arms. Just at the tops here. And around your left arm on the back of your arm at the top. The skin is a little bit... Those are a little dry, but that's absolutely normal. Um, your hands, they're just regular hard-working hands. Um, as I said, if you just avoid over-washing, I know some of us Take off my gloves. Okay. Just uh, pop in the details here for you. through here, everything I find will be sent back to your doctor, okay? I'm going to give you some information and some tips on how to treat the dry patches, we'll do that in a moment. And I think that once we have done that, you should probably leave it in the notes for you. Okay. The skin on your scalp looks healthy. I didn't see any um, flaky skin either, so no dandruff. really try not to scratch 
fragrances but this carries on to perfumes as well so not just in the products you're using but cut down on high highly synthetic perfumes on your skin so just remember anything you put on your skin is absorbed okay your skin is an organ so we must nourish it with goodness and not put chemicals on it too much or harsh chemicals I should say and also a good thing to do is avoid dry weather um, if you're able to use a dehumidifier that would be really good if possible um, to see how we get on this year with the weather and keep an eye on things okay so then we have a section on And seeds, 
you can use hemp oil in your cooking. Um, flax seeds are very high in omega. They would be great specifically for your skin here. I would definitely recommend. Um, herbal teas, some of them are very good for your skin. Um, particularly rose, calendula, but there are many more. So I suggest having a look and uh, go to your local health food shop and get some advice there. And any foods that are high in water content like cucumber, for instance, any fruit or vegetables high in water content would be really great for your skin. So you can take in more liquid and make sure you drink more water if you need to. Um, think hydration and oils. Okay. Foods to avoid. Now we must stay away from sugar as much as possible. And coffee, alcohol, salty foods. So if you're cooking with salt, then use a sea salt rather than a refined salt. Sea salt is very high in minerals that we need. We do need salt in our diet, but the right salt is very important. Okay, so less salt if you have a lot of it, and a natural salt much like a sea salt or Himalayan salt um, is better for you and the minerals are very important for you as well. They will help your skin. Stay away from refined carbs. Stick to whole foods if you can. So white refined pasta and bread. If you go for whole wholemeal rice, wholemeal bread, brown rice, bro, think wholemeal and brown, okay, and dairy, so dairy is a known pro-inflammatory, and not great for your skin, it's known to cause dry skin, so perhaps switch to hemp oil, hemp milk for instance because hemp milk has a lot of omega oils in there as well okay so it's just being mind mindful of what you're eating and things that you could add to your diet to help out a little bit and i think if you were to stick to that as much as you can then the dry skin will disappear okay you can use on your skin sea buckthorn that's really really good for dry skin um, it comes in oil form or cream form so you just want to make sure that it's a natural cream um, i actually have one here which i've been using on my hands it's really nice this is organic sea buckthorn oil and chamomile extract for dry skin and my hands are really moisturized and soft after using this. I've been using sea buckthorn for a long time, um, particularly for the dry skin on the back of your arm, just there. Sea buckthorn would be really good for that. So there is something called this polaris which is an overproduction of keratin in the skin and it shows up in little bumps on the skin usually on the back of the arms tops of the thighs and occasionally on the face but usually around the body and the sea buckthorn really helps for that I shall give you this leaflet. It's a bit 
that now. You can take it with you. Okay. Your records are now up to date and everything will be sent back to your doctor. So, as I said, just leave it about eight weeks and follow all of the advice as much as you possibly can. I'm sure that you will see results and when you go back to see your doctor, they'll see everything that I have written and I'm sure they'll be able to see as well. Okay? I'm very glad you came in. It wasn't really much to worry about, but it's very important to have your skin checked anyway. I did, along the way, look at any moles that were there, and I didn't see anything at all that was um, worthy of any worry. Okay? So I shall pop your leaflet top of your back there. lovely to meet you and I wish you all the best. Keep on looking after yourself. Alright, well done. You grab your things together when you're ready. Okay, you can sign out at